Hey everybody. So say you're on Flipgrid and you don't have makeup on. <gasps> That's me. So <laughs> you've got kids, as you can see in the background here, she's teething something hard. Oh, hold up people, hold up. And I'm back. So <laughs> yeah, so you want to blur your screen or put a lovely emoji over your face so that you don't get have everybody see your face. Um, maybe you've got a bad acne day going on. I don't know what your life is about right now, but hey, yeah. you don't want people to see your face or your surroundings. And hey, students have issues like that too, where maybe they have not so great home life and they don't want to have their, their surroundings compared to other students' surroundings. We get it, right? So Flipgrid has some awesome features to have you keep that student's privacy safe while allowing them to still, thanks Rowan, to still participate and still practice those speaking and listening skills. So how did I get this face? Thank you, Rowan. You're participating. Um, how did I get this face on my face? Well, I'm going to show you how I did that. So I went to effects down here. Oh, oh, oh. And I went to emoji. And then I just picked out my face. So I can pick out this face right here and I can blow it up however big I want it and I can put it right over my face. Another way to blur your screen, and I love this method, is going to effects and then going to filters. And then Flipgrid has bricks and they have pixels. So I'm gonna go to bricks and see what happens. And I'm going to delete the emojis. And then check this out. So your face is not shown, your surroundings aren't shown, but Lego bricks are shown instead. Yeah, for those Lego fans. And then we have Pixel, which is similar. It's just pixels. So there we go. You can see movement, um, but you cannot see surroundings or face. So that is a wonderful way to get students to participate without having to be embarrassed and show their screens. Another way is by going to effects and then you can have students use a whiteboard in the background. So I'm going to go to board and you could have them be in space or have a blackboard or a you know neon board a vapor wave i guess rainbow um you could have them do just a blackboard and what they can do is they can go to effects and then draw on the screen so they can actually draw a happy face right on the screen and maybe uh, they could participate that way. So there are many, many ways that students can participate in your Flipgrid uh, topics and Flipgrid groups, and yet they do not have to show their faces or their handy dandy surroundings. So play around with that. I cannot wait to see what you come up with.